Hello there, my name is Alexander Moroz and I will be your tutor for this video. In this video, we'll be uh, getting information how to anonymously browse the web and what is the proxy servers, how to set the proxy servers, why we need the proxy servers, and how to use the proxy servers. Well, basically, if you're uh, already watching this video, you probably uh, search for anonymous web browsing to protect yourself. So, if you're not, let me go ahead and explain to you why you need the anonymous web browsing and why you need to use the proxy servers. Well, anonymous web browsing is uh, basically for people who is looking to protect their IP addresses from the others. So they don't want to allow others to see their IP addresses and especially uh, for some dangerous criminals out there, uh, cyber criminals, to get access to their um, uh, IP addresses or for those people uh, who lives in the countries that doesn't allow to access to some um, websites or some web services like Google and stuff. So uh, they can bypass the, uh, their protection by using the uh, proxy servers and then they can go ahead and read uh, the information. And I believe the internet should be for free and available to everyone on the planet Earth. That's why I believe this is a great idea to use the proxy servers because the internet, it is a bridge to communication and education. Okay, uh, for you, for those who doesn't know what is the IP, let me go ahead and explain. IP stands for Internet, internet Protocol Address. And um, pretty much uh, just think about IP like it is your phone number. A uh, telephone company gives you the phone number so they can uh, control you and monitor you. They can see what uh, uh, what phone numbers you contacting and what time and stuff like that. So uh, the internet uh, provider companies, they can do the same thing. They're giving you the AP address. It's like a phone, but um, it's like sometimes it's longer than a phone with the dots. And basically, that's how they can monitor you, um, what kind of IP you're communicating with, and time, and uh, what kind of data you're receiving from them, and stuff like that. Keep that privately, just only for their use. Uh, but um, some uh, criminals out there, digital criminals, and cyber criminals, they can uh, get your IP address and they can use your IP address for attack on your computer, network attack on your computer to get access to your computer, or they can use your IP address for other reasons to find out your information, your personal information and stuff like that. So some people would like to go ahead and um, stay away from that. That's how, that's why they're looking to search and uh, browse the web uh, anonymously and that's why I this video for today so uh, to find out your IP address please go ahead and visit uh, what is my IP address dot com it's a good website which is free it will tell you the information uh, of your IP address as well as the location of you and uh, if that website will be unavailable during the time you're watching this video, please go ahead and Google for what is my IP address using the Google search and uh, try to use some other services that will give you the IP address. Keep in mind that IP address information should be for free. So if somebody will ask you to pay you for that information, please stay away from those people. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about uh, anonymous web browsing and uh, let's learn how to. Imagine this uh, icon of the laptop of the netbook uh, or notebook or whatever you want to call it, uh, tabloid, any of the devices actually, not only the computer, Macintosh, PC, Linux, on the left uh, corner, it's your computer or a device that can access to the internet. It can send information and receive the information. So it's sending the information 
but instead of sending the information uh, directly to a website, it's sending the information indirectly. And uh, so website doesn't have ability to find out what is your IP address because it's sending the information using like let's say some third party that doesn't want to let them know what is your IP address and that third party is called proxy server so basically your computer is sending the information to a proxy server proxy server receive that information and it's sending that information uh, to a website that you're trying to access on the web some some website could be the informational website could be from that website it could be anything proxy servers can be uh, for the HTTP use which is for the websites it could be for SMTP for the emails it could be FTP and etc it can be anything so also it can be um, set for your socket and uh, it can work for the whole your socket and it can also peer-to-peer uh, -peer send the files over, you can send the files peer-to-peer -peer over the proxy server and um, using the whole internet access using the proxy server if you will set the proxy server on your socket but uh, today we're not going to go that deep because it's a proxy server 101 and how to search the web anonymously one on one so we'll go ahead and discuss uh, how to just uh, search the web so we're sending the information uh, proxy server sending the information to the web after it receives our uh, information that we would like to uh, access the information on a particular website then that website sending the information to proxy server and after proxy server receive that information it sends that information to you so basically what's going on when you send the information to a proxy server proxy server of course knows your IP address that's how you communicate you setting that proxy server by its IP so you know it's IP and proxy server knows your IP that's how you can send and receive the packets of data of information of files and etc so um, but then what 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 happened when proxy server uh, send the information to a uh, web uh, web knows the in, uh, IP address only of the proxy server but doesn't know that you are requesting that information through the proxy server it has no ability to find out it thinks that that proxy server is a computer that getting requesting the information from the web so it can send that information to a proxy server uh, and thinks it's, it's a user it doesn't think it's a proxy server but proxy server can be split on multiple levels and sometimes a uh, website um, can uh, find out that this is a proxy server but it's not going to know your IP address anyway sometimes proxy server like a elite proxy server and so strong that website doesn't know that you that this is a proxy server but sometimes it can know that this is a proxy server so proxy server sending the information you receiving that information so that's how you receiving the data from that website and then your browser is rendering displaying that information so here's the concept this is the concept is very important for you to know and you can apply this concept using the computers PC Macintosh um, iPhone iPad any kind of devices that can receive and send the information uh, using the uh, HTTP you can apply the proxy server on those devices and any operating system so keep in mind on that concept and keep in mind that you can use the proxy server almost anywhere that can accept the internet all right so here we go we just got the concept so we connecting to a third party which is proxy server sending him some information let's say www.google.com proxy server received that information Proxy server go ahead and access uh, ac uh, accepting that information and then going to uh, google.com 
getting some data from that website and sending back to you like a toy party so that google.com knows only proxy server IP it doesn't know your IP keep in mind when you're using proxy servers you need to be um, basically you need to trust that proxy server don't use just any of the proxy servers try to avoid of using uh, any uh, proxy servers that you think might be um, hackers because that proxy server can can uh, hold your IP address and never ever do um, online banking and stuff like this using the proxy server because uh, unless you trust that proxy server unless that proxy server is your corporation proxy server or it's uh, your company proxy server okay proxy server also has the ability to filter the information so basically when it send the information it has the ability to filter that information uh, when it receives the information, it has the ability to filter that information or process that information or encode and decode the information. So proxy service can be a secure proxy service as well with secure layer on it, SSL. So what does that mean? It means that you can use your iPhone or some other devices that are not, like let's say not iPhone, but let's take some other devices that not fully internet capable devices not fully uh, to load the web uh, page